What's up everyone, it's Linus, and welcome back to the channel. For those just tuning in for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future deep dives into the tech world. Today we're talking about something that's both fascinating and a little unnerving. Remote Access Trojans, or RATs. Now if you're into cybersecurity or just want to understand the tools hackers use, you're in the right place. We're going to break down six of the most prevalent rats out there in 2024, how they work, their strengths, their weaknesses, because knowledge is power, right? So let's get right into it. First up, we've got Cerberus, and just like the mythical three-headed hound guarding the underworld, this rat is known for its tenacity. We're talking lightning-fast connection speeds, strong encryption to keep prying eyes away from its activities, and this persistence. Once it's in, it's really good at staying hidden and maintaining access to your system. Imagine trying to shake off a shadow that's faster and sneakier than you ever thought possible. That's Cerberus. One of the things that makes Cerberus so effective is its ability to fly under the radar. It's designed to be discreet using minimal system resources so it doesn't raise any red flags. You might not even notice your computer's acting a little sluggish, which is a testament to how well-crafted this rat is but don't mistake subtlety for weakness. Cerberus packs a punch when it comes to the level of control it can give an attacker. We're talking remote desktop control, key logging to snatch your passwords and sensitive information, file manipulation. It can delete, download, you name it. And the scary part is, all of this happens remotely, without you ever realizing someone else has the keys to your digital kingdom. It's like having a ghost in the machine and not the friendly kind. Now you might be thinking, Okay, if it's that good at hiding, how do we even know it exists? And that's a fair question. Cerberus is often spread through phishing campaigns, malicious downloads, or even bundled with seemingly harmless software. That's why it's so important to have a good antivirus and to be cautious about what you click on and download. But the real kicker with Cerberus is its encryption. It encrypts all communication between the infected device and the attacker's command and control server. This makes it extremely difficult for security researchers to analyze its traffic and develop effective countermeasures. It's like trying to eavesdrop on a conversation in a language you don't understand, encrypted with a code you can't crack. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Cerberus also has the ability to update itself remotely. This means that the developers can constantly add new features, patch vulnerabilities, and stay one step ahead of the security researchers trying to rein them in. It's a constantly evolving threat, which makes it even more important to understand how it works and how to protect yourself. Now, before you start thinking that all hope is lost, remember this. Awareness is key. By understanding the threats posed by rats like Cerberus, we can start to build up our defenses and make ourselves harder targets. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at another notorious rat cybergate. Stay tuned, because things are about to get even more interesting. So we just explored the shadowy depths of Cerberus, a rat known for its stealth and sophistication. Now let's switch gears and talk about Cybergate. On the surface, Cybergate might seem less intimidating. It's often marketed as a remote administration tool, something businesses might use for legitimate purposes like tech support. But as they say, appearances can be deceiving. Cybergate has gained notoriety in the wrong circles because it's incredibly user-friendly. Even someone with minimal technical know-how can figure out how to use it to gain unauthorized access to someone else's computer. Think of it like those hacking for dummies kits, except Cybergate actually works. Now you might be wondering if it's so easy to use, wouldn't antivirus software catch it right away? And you'd be right to an extent. Cybergate is often flagged by antivirus programs because its signature is well known. But, and this is a big but, its developers frequently release new versions with tweaked code to bypass those very defenses. It's a constant cat and mouse game with Cybergate trying to slip past security measures and security researchers playing catch up. This makes Cybergate a bit of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, its popularity and widespread use mean that security experts are very familiar with it, which helps in developing countermeasures. On the other hand, its simplicity and the fact that it's readily available on the dark web make it a popular choice for beginner hackers and even for malicious pranks. But don't let that fool you. Even though it might not be as sophisticated as Cerberus, Cybergate can still inflict some serious damage. We're talking about stealing passwords and sensitive data, logging your keystrokes, capturing screenshots, and even recording video from your webcam without you ever knowing. 
Imagine the kind of havoc someone could wreak with access to your personal photos, your financial information, your online accounts. It's not a pretty picture. And here's where it gets even more unsettling. Cybergate can be used to create botnets. Now, if you're not familiar with botnets, think of them as armies of infected computers, all controlled by a single attacker. These botnets can then be used to launch DDoS attacks, send spam emails, or even mine cryptocurrency, all without the knowledge or consent of the actual computer owners. So, even though Cybergate might seem like the less intimidating younger sibling of Cerberus, it's still a force to be reckoned with. It's a reminder that even seemingly simple tools can be used for malicious purposes and that staying informed about cybersecurity threats is more important than ever. Up next, we'll be diving into the world of Dark Comet, a rat with a long and storied history. Stick around to find out why it's often referred to as the veteran of the rat world. We've talked about Cerberus, the stealthy watchdog, and Cybergate, the deceptively simple tool. Now let's journey back in time to explore Dark Comet, a rat that once ruled the digital underworld but has since faded from its former glory. Dark Comet emerged in the late 2000s and quickly gained notoriety for its versatility. It was a Swiss Army knife of malicious tools, packed with features that could turn a victim's computer into a puppet for the attacker. From remote desktop control to keylogging, file manipulation, and even the ability to hijack webcams and microphones, Dark Comet seemed to have it all. It was the go-to choice for hackers of all skill levels, from script kiddies looking to cause mischief to seasoned cybercriminals engaged in targeted attacks. One of the things that made Dark Comet so effective was its ease of use. The user interface was surprisingly intuitive, even for those with limited technical skills. Hackers could easily navigate through its various features and customize the payload to suit their needs. It was like having a digital toolbox for all things malicious, with clear instructions on how to use each tool. Dark Comet's reign of terror didn't go unnoticed. Security researchers took notice of its growing popularity and the havoc it was wreaking. As they delved deeper into its code, they discovered vulnerabilities, weaknesses that could be exploited to develop countermeasures. Antivirus companies updated their databases with Dark Comet's signature, making it easier to detect and block. But the real nail in the coffin for Dark Comet came from an unexpected source, its own creator. In 2012, the developer, who went by the pseudonym Jean-Pierre Lesueur, publicly announced that he was shutting down the project. The reason? He was reportedly disturbed by the fact that his creation was being used for malicious purposes, for cyber espionage, and even for human rights abuses. While Dark Comet itself might be gone, its legacy lives on. Its code has been analyzed and dissected by security researchers, providing valuable insights into the inner workings of rats. It serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most powerful tools can be used for both good and evil, and it highlights the importance of ethical hacking and responsible disclosure in the cybersecurity community. Even though Dark Comet is no longer actively developed or supported, it's not entirely extinct. Older versions might still be circulating on the dark web lurking in the shadows, waiting for unsuspecting victims. That's why it's crucial to stay vigilant, to keep your antivirus software updated, and to be cautious about the links you click and the files you download. As we move on to our next rat, Orcus, keep in mind the lessons learned from Dark Comet's rise and fall. The world of cybersecurity is in constant flux, with new threats emerging and old ones resurfacing. Staying informed and proactive is our best defense against the digital darkness. Chapter 4. Orcus Rat, the Plug-in Powerhouse From the fallen star of Dark Comet, we now turn our attention to Orcus Rat, a formidable contender in the world of remote access trojans. Orcus distinguishes itself with its modular design and a vast library of plugins, making it highly customizable and adaptable to a hacker's specific needs. Think of it like building your own malicious toolbox. You can pick and choose the tools you need for the job, whether it's stealing passwords, spying on webcam activity, or taking complete control of a victim's machine. One of Orcus's most concerning features is its stealth capabilities. It's designed to operate discreetly, leaving minimal traces on an infected system. This makes it particularly difficult for antivirus software to detect, as it can easily evade traditional signature-based detection methods. It's like a chameleon, blending seamlessly into its surroundings, 
making it nearly invisible to the untrained eye. But Orcus's true power lies in its advanced functionalities. It goes beyond the basic features of a typical rat, offering a wide range of options for remote administration, surveillance, and data exfiltration. It can log keystrokes, capture screenshots, record audio and video, steal passwords and other sensitive information. The list goes on and on. It's like having a digital Swiss army knife equipped with every tool imaginable for compromising a victim's privacy and security. The plug-in architecture of Orcus is what makes it so versatile and dangerous. Hackers can choose from a vast library of pre-built plugins or even develop their own custom modules to extend its functionality. This means that Orcus is constantly evolving, with new features and capabilities being added all the time. It's like a constantly mutating virus, making it even more difficult to develop effective countermeasures. Another concerning aspect of Orcus is its accessibility. While it's not as widely available as some other RATs, it can still be found on dark web forums and marketplaces, often for a hefty price. This suggests that its developers are actively maintaining and updating the software, making it even more of a threat to cybersecurity. Despite its advanced features and stealth capabilities, Orcus is not invincible. Security researchers are constantly analyzing its code, looking for vulnerabilities that can be exploited to develop detection and prevention mechanisms. Antivirus companies are also updating their databases with new signatures and behavioral patterns to identify and block Orcus infections. However, the modular nature of Orcus makes it a moving target. As soon as one plugin or feature is detected and blocked, another one can be created to take its place. It's a constant game of cat and mouse with hackers and security researchers trying to outmaneuver each other. As we move on to our next rat, Mondrat, remember that the fight against cyber threats is an ongoing battle. Staying informed about the latest tactics and techniques used by hackers is crucial for staying one step ahead. Chapter 5. Mondrat, the resource-hungry hacker tool. Having explored the plug-in-powered Orcus, let's shift our focus to Mondrat, a rat that stands out for its unique approach and a rather noticeable drawback. Unlike some of its stealthier counterparts, Mondrat is known for its heavy resource consumption. It's like that friend who always eats all the snacks at a party. It's noticeable. And it can leave your system feeling a little sluggish. Now you might think, wouldn't that make it easy to detect? And you'd be partially right. A computer running noticeably slower than usual could be a telltale sign of a Mondrat infection. However, this rat still poses a significant threat, especially to systems with ample resources that can mask its presence. Mondrat's resource-intensive nature stems from its design. It often utilizes complex encryption algorithms and communication protocols to evade detection and maintain a persistent connection with the attacker's command and control server. This constant data exchange and processing require significant computing power, which can slow down the infected device. But Mondrat's developers haven't entirely ignored the issue of resource consumption. They've incorporated features that allow attackers to adjust the rat's settings, fine-tuning its performance to strike a balance between functionality and stealth. It's like trying to quiet a noisy engine. It might not be completely silent, but it's less likely to attract unwanted attention. Despite its resource hunger, Mondrat packs a punch when it comes to malicious capabilities. It can steal sensitive data, log keystrokes, record audio and video, and even provide remote access to the infected device. It's like a bull in a china shop. It might not be subtle, but it can certainly cause a lot of damage. One of Mondrat's distinguishing features is its focus on persistence. It employs various techniques to ensure that it remains embedded in the victim's system, even after a reboot or attempted removal. It's like a stubborn stain that's difficult to get rid of. It requires specialized tools and knowledge to completely eradicate it. Another concerning aspect of Mondrat is its potential for use in targeted attacks. Its ability to operate silently on systems with high processing power makes it an attractive tool for cyber espionage and data exfiltration. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. It might seem harmless on the surface, but it harbors dangerous intentions. While Mondrat might not be as widely known as some other rats, it's crucial not to underestimate its capabilities. Its resource-intensive nature can be a double-edged sword, making it both easier and harder to detect depending on the circumstances. Staying informed about its characteristics and potential impact is essential for maintaining a robust cybersecurity posture. As we move on to our final rat venom, 
remember that the threat landscape is constantly evolving. New and modified threats emerge regularly, requiring us to stay vigilant and adapt our defenses accordingly. Chapter 6 Venom the Shapeshifting Rat We've journeyed through the world of rats, from the stealthy Cerberus to the resource-hungry Mondrat. Now we arrive at our final destination, Venom, a rat that embodies the very essence of adaptability and elusiveness. Venom is not your typical off-the-shelf malware. It's often custom-built and tailored for specific targets, making it incredibly difficult to detect and analyze. Think of it as a chameleon, blending seamlessly into its surroundings, making it nearly invisible to traditional security measures. One of Venom's defining characteristics is its highly customizable nature. It's often developed using a combination of programming languages and techniques, making it difficult to identify a consistent signature. This makes it a nightmare for antivirus software, as it can easily evade signature-based detection methods. It's like trying to identify a specific grain of sand on a beach. It's a daunting task, to say the least. Venom's creators often go to great lengths to obfuscate its code, making it incredibly challenging for security researchers to reverse engineer and understand its inner workings. They employ various techniques, such as code packing, encryption, and anti-debugging measures to make analysis a time-consuming and resource-intensive process. It's like trying to solve a complex puzzle with half the pieces missing. It requires patience, skill, and a bit of luck. But Venom's true power lies in its ability to evade detection. It's often designed to operate stealthily, leaving minimal traces on the infected system. It can hide its presence by masquerading as legitimate processes, deleting its own files, and even disabling security software. It's like a ghost in the machine. It's there, but you just can't see it. The highly targeted nature of Venom makes it a formidable threat. It's often deployed in sophisticated attacks aimed at specific individuals or organizations, where the attackers have carefully researched their target and crafted the malware to bypass their specific defenses. It's like a precision-guided missile. It's designed to hit its target with pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage. Venom's capabilities are as diverse as its forms. It can steal sensitive data, log keystrokes, record audio and video, provide remote access to the infected device. The possibilities are virtually limitless. It all depends on the attacker's objectives and the specific tools they've incorporated into their custom-built Venom variant. Despite its elusiveness and sophistication, Venom is not invincible. Security researchers are constantly developing new techniques to detect and analyze advanced malware threats. Behavioral-based detection methods, which focus on identifying malicious activity rather than specific signatures, are proving effective in combating these shape-shifting threats. As we conclude our exploration of these six prominent RATs, remember that the threat landscape is constantly evolving. New and modified threats emerge regularly, requiring us to stay vigilant and adapt our defenses accordingly. Staying ahead of the rat race. Cybersecurity in a connected world. So we've journeyed through the intricate and often unsettling world of remote access Trojans. We've seen how these malicious tools, from the stealthy Cerberus to the shape-shifting Venom, can wreak havoc on our digital lives, stealing our data, compromising our privacy, and even turning our devices against us. But it's not all doom and gloom. The first step towards protection is awareness. By understanding how rats work, how they spread, and the damage they can inflict, we can start building our defenses. Keep your operating systems and software updated, use strong and unique passwords, be wary of suspicious emails and links, and fortify your digital fortress with a reputable antivirus and anti-malware suite. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power. If you found this deep dive into the world of rats insightful, hit that like button and share it with your friends, family, and colleagues. Let's spread awareness and create a safer digital space for everyone. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future explorations into the fascinating and ever-evolving world of tech and cybersecurity. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and stay ahead of the curve.